What's up guys? This is the Brofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Italian States. So to round off where we left off, we have set up all our chest pieces around Istanbul. We are blocking Turkish reinforcements from across the strait with our new quote unquote <laughs> Italian navy. And the garrison is deciding to sally forth and we will take this opportunity to mow them down with our superior firepower. So without further ado, let's attack. So I do. So this, this is something a couple, of, a couple of you guys have have mentioned um, in the comments, and you're definitely right. I do want to take islands like Sicily, uh, not Sicily, um, Sardinia, Corsica, Malta. They're all islands I want to take, and I think I definitely will. Um, I think I just need to build up a another force to do that. So I've got to carefully balance between. I want, I want to carefully balance the effort between making sure my armies in Turkey and over here are okay, and also I've got decent, fairly decent navy. It's a pity about the rain. Not a lot we can do about that. The terrain isn't great. It's very undulating and not very. Not as useful for us, but I like over here a bit more. So I think over on the left is probably going to be a better position. And we should still be fairly secure from the reinforcing armies. They shouldn't cause too much of a problem. So just select a few here. I mean, this could all go horribly wrong. <laughs> the reinforcements coming in from somewhere else, but it's all part of the part of the fun. So these guys set up. The fusiliers are going to hold the flank, and they can't deploy stakes. I usually, forget, I always forget about that. But it's mainly because stakes end up being a bit of a dire straits weapon for me. So where are they? Oh god, I left troops. God, I suck. Thought I deployed everyone. See, so the artillery's firing. They're probably going to engage. Hey, they're actually firing into the city. Mortars aren't firing, which is always good, but we managed to break a bunch of their artillery. So you really managed to arc the shots towards them. That's pretty damn awesome. So let's get... They're engaging again. Let's see how well they do. Most of the shots hit city walls, but one of them made it. A couple of them made it. But let's actually pick... New targets. Particularly these camels. Let's speed up time because the AI wants to change their minds about what they're going to do. And these camels managed to evade all of that artillery. Well, not that they didn't. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, the camel. Not my camels. Not to learn how to start pounding the riskers of souls. And this unit sets some artillery to just attack the gatehouse, just to shoot at this section of grand ground here. So we've got the first reinforcing unit coming in. It's a unit of it's general's bodyguard. But the gunners have abandoned the the walls now. Well, they've, they've, abandoned, they've abandoned their guns, so it's tempting to just set them to to set my army to attack. It might not be a bad idea because now they've now they've deployed away from now they've abandoned their artillery. We can start to do. 
some more offensive operations. Of course, they may always choose to pick their guns up again. There's their artillery crew. Good. Right now, I'm happy to let my Italian gunners pick up some good... A ah. couple of units advancing on the flank. Armenian archers, Fellaini, Garrison, Sorelli. Let's get, my, get the 3rd Regiment of Horse up into a position towards those archers. Start. Let's get one set of guns to start work on the walls. Get the third regiment of cavalry to run. Everyone's all pretty good. These gunners are they're going straight for my artillery. So even though it's dumb, I do want to just set them to attack these gunners. I do not want them to risk risk being attacked. Set my cavalry to chase after them, although I'm getting there you go. Strange, strange strange sound things again, but it looks like the argument smash into Yeah, some 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 problems. They are going to get eviscerated. So let's bring these three infantry units. Their job is to hold this flank. Good, they are actually starting to push up. as well spend their time killing the archers. These pikemen don't really need support. Set that infantry to run, get my artillery to start supporting them. So I, don't, I don't get what causes this sound um, problem. It seemed to be pretty. It seemed to have fixed itself for a while, and then it's come back. I mean, I really dislike this rain, but there's nothing I can do about it now. All of this stuff is all stock. I've not changed anything. Okay, let's run my cavalry away. Got my fusiliers are getting into position. Grenadiers. Sadly, which we cannot hear because the sound's gone weird. There we go. So they're pounding shots into Feleen. These are Fusiliers, they will, they will reload and re-engage very quickly. So if these Feleen don't get a move on, they're going to eat another three volleys from these guys and then from the adjacent units. Ok, 
kidding. Give me general kill? Come on. I think I can see it. Bodyguard charging in. Let's keep my camels kind of covering back for just in case the camels decide to try me. Silly buggers. Okay, let's do something like this. Cavalry to fill in this gap. So the reinforcements aren't coming in, they're coming in straight from this flank, so I pretty much want you guys just to deploy square. Sit my cavalry behind the square to act as bait. Cavalry travel at maximum speed to intercept this missile in before they hit my infantry. So the garrison's arms are being cut down. Limit being destroyed. Okay, let's run some more infantry up towards the towards the main entrance. Let's get them co um, caught in more of a cross well, not a crossfire, but in more of a killing zone. Do you have these Israeli still running around? Be careful. So they're being slaughtered. Some so camel nomads. Let's get my pikes up. Behind them. You guys take a position here. Blocking the gap between my infantry and this mound. And this infantry can push up here to also try to provide some firepower. Sound problems. I wonder if it's anything to do with the rain. It's already being engaged. Because I do have. Everything's on. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Engaging. The artillery to hit. These janissaries. This oh, sounds temporarily come back. This unit of line infantry is about to get charged by the janissaries. By not jan by the janissaries, by the Muslim. Shaken already. Got some garrison Islamic swordsmen coming in. This is why I've got my pikes. So I'm falling back. March my pikes up. Just get my artillery to focus fire on these camel nomads because camels suck slash are brilliant. Sixth is engaging. 
from somebody. That's how popular, I suppose. Good idea is getting ready to hit the Zars. As they are losing me slowly. Okay, let's take this infantry, push them up to provide fire against the camels. Let's position some infantry around to go hit this, this, um, this Aureli unit as they are garrisons. They're not hitting my grenadiers, so that's leaving them close range. They were getting volley after volley of the grenadiers in point blank range. Let's get the artillery to start pounding towards more towards the, the centre. Because I didn't want to break the centre to then start to form a new position to engage the reinforcing armies coming in on the other side of the field. Let's pivot my grenadiers. great if we could capture the fort, then we could turn some of these guns on this section of the wall against the enemy. Okay, let's get my weakest fusilier unit. You capture the gates. These units march up, ready to get in. Camel almost chose to charge my grenadiers, which is a bit of a risk. I didn't see any of it. I'm a bit of a pickle. There you go, we're starting to get our troops into position. Good stuff. Mass route in the centre. And my cavalry are a bit useless. Some of horsemen coming in, so you guys better run. Pretty ricky tick. Drop into square formation. These layers, don't worry about the combat, just get up those walls. Garrison troops are faring poorly. You guys are about to get a massive camel rush. Square. Good, we've actually taken quite a commanding position here on the hill. So then, on this infantry. Push up. The fuse is routed. It's a bit dodgy. Especially suppose what didn't help was the firelock on Populus came back. The horsemen are probably gonna die to my cavalry. Not my cavalry, my square formation. So let's get this cavalry over here to help them out. Square. You go square and push it up. Is it the horsemen? Not the horsemen. Some miseries are coming back, but not a massive concern. Let's get my guns to start limbering up. Hit the unpopulous. Could probably send my pikes back around to the south to help provide support. Move 
form square on the flank. No, I don't do have the cavalry just yet. That's, you'll want to hit the riskers of souls on the flank. That's what you'll want to do. Everyone just unload onto this garrison Sorelli unit. Good. Fort is now ours. It's probably going to be a long shot. But let's get. See if these grenadiers around and the fusiliers around in a position to man the artillery. Because of souls have been running around for a while, they haven't done anything. You guys form line. Artillery, the only good place for the artillery is like already up here anyway. Let's get my cavalry away from the risks of souls. Let's not give them a free charge. They're on the flank, but they're not doing anything sneaky yet. Cavalry around the rear. You desert warriors. Let's advance up the bulk of our line. Just because of souls and punchy bazooks. Pikemen. Charged by Mamelukes. Left my pikemen a bit too far away. I mean, the melee infantry is determined to hit my cavalry, which is nice. Just keep running. Is there artillery? There's more camel nomads in the rear. Okay, let's start to angle some troops against these enemies. I mean, there's, there's plenty of opportunities to run people down. Um, I just don't think it's as much of a concern for us. Not in the long run. This is a very bad position to shoot people because we're in a dip. These Azars are going to try and charge us, but will they charge us before we shoot them? No, they will not. It's enemy artillery coming in now. Getting into positions. Ah, cavalry, get back here, you. Good. So now the riskers of souls are going to be in position to accept punishing musket fire from our men. We all know how good they are in combat. But they have no armour. That's their main... Well, that was going to be our main strength, but the fact that we've got no morale also helps. So let's barrel this cavalry around to the flank and hit the warriors. Probably keep... Okay, this cavalry straight line back towards us. See, there's a lot of. Oh, they are actually going after the fort. Which is. <laughs> well, it is ours, but. Well, it's currently ours anyway. We would like to chase down the riskers of souls. But these bashy bazooks are chasing after us. don't want to give them an opportunity for some easy kills. Should probably go in square formation to deal with these camels. Yeah. This hasn't worked. You get off the walls. These guys are okay. Sort of. It's definitely not the ideal way to get you guys off the wall. To 
can tell what's going to happen. Good, charge my pikes in to counter the brush of bazooks. While everyone else. push the line forward. So he's almost made into a good position. My general's still all the way at the back. Bunch of bazooks should be getting a bit upset because they're now being attacked by my pikey boys. Killing this unit for now till they route, but I don't want them to get charged by the janissary unit. This cavalry needs to retreat. They're doing counter battery and it's working. front line. Advance. Ooh, hand mortars. Scary. Just keep pushing. Charge my cavalry in. They're probably going to rout. These guys are doing okay at the Janister unit. Actually, they're going to go straight for this 9 pounder artillery unit. Are you guys are going to charge the Janissaries. Yeah, they're doing pretty good against my artillery. Kill the unit completely. So they're very good gunners they've got back there. Cavalry onwards. Because what have we got back here? Is it all artillery? It looks like it. So you charge the organ gun. You guys charge the nine pounders. Everyone else will rush forward because these janissaries seemingly won't. Well, understandably, they won't give us the opportunity to just kill all their remaining gunners. So let's just charge the warriors with what we can. Okay, we don't want them to get their, to get their artillery out. You want to kill kill as many of their crew as we can. Absolutely continue. Damn. So who's left? Five artillerymen. Get him, guys. Let's take him out. We have lost him. Oh, there they are. Chop, 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 chop. Chop. That wasn't a close victory. That was a methodical drive pushing the Ottomans back. And look at that. The numbers are well and truly on our side. Let's see who got the most kills. K 
cavalry, cavalry, cavalry. Obviously they did really good. Grenadiers did really good. Fusiliers bumped up a bunch of skill points, but they've only got 61 le men left. Slice. Dead. Altri ordini. Yep, and they're retreating, but there's very little they can actually do. So now they've got a problem. Do they... Well, yeah, they've just got a problem. That's, there's nothing. There's no two ways about it. Um, ideally, if I could take Istanbul, I would... Well, there's too much. I can attack. I can, I can attack every direction. I can go west against the Europeans, against uh, France and Spain. I can go east against the Ottomans. I can go south to Cairo and the North African coast. I can go south, sorry, to the north, south to the North African coast. I could go north and hit the Polish. There's just a huge amount of things that can be done. Um, and at the very least, it seems like this time the Ottomans aren't ruining my campaign. Um, but at least here I can more directly influence their actions I'm not sure what it is that's just caused <laughs> yeah oh, I'm, I'm still sour about the Louisiana campaign fortunately it'll be a couple of days before I have to re record a, a new part for that but in all likelihood what I'll probably end up doing is playing it off screen to get me back up to that position and then carrying on because I I really don't want to just I'm not going to waste you guys time and just fight the early bat, the early game again because you've already done it um, I'm just going to go blitz my way up north really quickly and then probably start recording again as per usual in a similar sort of position hopefully might be a bit frustrating might be a bit less optimised it'll still be a win yeah right now the ottomans are just they, they're confused they're really confused and they're unsure about what to do i dread to think what my cpu looks like trying to process this because for whatever reason my cpu utilization was really low but it was drawing loads of power so whatever it was doing learning i suppose it's because the empire can only do so much well it's not optimized for advanced processors I guess I don't know this is what Empire is all about yeah. Yeah, I've got Ryzen 7 3700X so it's not a bad CPU um, yeah I think I'm probably going to stop talking now and then in post I'm going to cut the recording cut the recording about here because I can't, I'm, I'm, especially after yesterday, after the Louisiana fiasco, I'm not going to ramble during the Ottoman and turn again. So, see you in a sec, guys. And we're back in business. So that only took a few turns. <laughs> took a few minutes. Um, rather than the half an hour for Louisiana. So. Yeah, I've got lots of options. I've got many, many areas I can expand. It might be tempting. Once I've taken Istanbul, I can garrison this area. Ah, oh, yes, during the Ottoman turn, they did push me out of their port. Um. Oh, yes, and I remember you, Spain. But what I can do is take my navy here such as it is go north pick Ernesto Defendi Assedio in corso. let's merge some Signore. units so I can transfer stuff over to my attacking Pronti army Mainly cavalry, because I don't have as much use for cavalry. These guys, this this army on its own is enough to hold off the garrison. Should they be sneaky again? Oop, I'm about to sneeze, so just a second, guys. Mm. 
See, if I was professional, I'd go back and cut that out in post, but I'm not professional. Um, let's merge the marines together. Do we have any marines here? Um, let's do some fluffing up of these units with a, one of my weaker pieces of infantry. Then let's give that army an expat infantry. Then let's take you aboard ship. I can sail you to the port of Athens. Disembark uh, my army. And take you guys to go. Wait a minute. No. I had to catch it quickly because he wanted to go around here and stop here, which means I would lose Athens. So I had to quickly right click into the city. But now, well, first, actually, I'm going to do a bit of economy spending. Ah, yes, I do remember you devils landing and taking my taking my territory back. But this is why I'm building another army. You swines! I suspect that yeah, that's, that's enough recruiting for now. You've seen how much of a big dent that's been in my economy already. Even with a reasonable amount of trade, Naples is worth. I think it's probably my most valuable region by a long shot. Man, but it is tempting to take Istanbul, fortify it, and then just defend. Defend and navally frustrate the Ottomans over here. And actually, well, yeah. Now Spain's done that, I'm going after Spain. <laughs> I remember that now. I remember it well. Spanish Heavy War Galleon. Bit. Oh, I remember. Yeah, this. The French are attacking, but I'm letting them have it because I don't. If I if I attack them, it might frustrate them enough to actually invade me properly, which obviously I don't want. Um, this garrison's growing. I have a couple of howitzers. Another unit of infantry. And let's take the wineries and rebuild. Then Ernesto Defendi. You can now attack the Spaniard from the city. And it looks like the army's pretty poor. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the clearing out of the Spanish dogs from Greek territory. See you, everyone.